We're out this morning, early morning, out on the Pecky Pecky, coming from the Manu Learning Centre to the far end of the reserve, and it's a really exciting day for me. Um, ten weeks ago, um, we, we put out some camera traps, but not just normal terrestrial traps. We put out cameras up in the canopy, and it's a project that we started last year, but we really amplified this year. And we've put cameras up at 25 metres, at 12 metres, different areas in the canopy. And uh, it's super exciting to go and take them down now, uh, like a few weeks later, and go and find out what you've actually got on there. It's always a nervous time, like whether there's going to be anything on there or whether the camera trap maybe has failed or something. And uh, it's just such a cutting edge project, you know. There's not many people do our boreal camera trap work. But it's just so hard, like we've got like five or six bags, like roll bags to carry out there. And it's, it's just incredible, but super, super exciting. But what we really want to find um, are some of the primates that we've got in the reserve. We've got a couple of endangered species, like the woolly monkey and the spider monkey. It'd just be amazing to pick those guys up in the canopy. Um, or even maybe even some of the cats. It'd be like, I think, one of the first shots in the world of cats in the canopy in, in Amazonia. So we're super, super excited about this project and hoping it's a springboard for a huge project next year in the whole of Manu. And what a day, what a day to start it. So it's looking really good. So I just hope it continues like this. Blue skies all the way here. Eh? This is a really important project for Crees this year because last year we did a sort of mini pilot project, just four weeks. Um, but this year we're doing uh, 20 weeks of trapping, but we've got double the number of trees and double the number of camera traps and we're going to study different levels. So not just the high canopy, but also looking in the mid canopy as well, because it's quite possible that we're missing things in the mid canopy. And it's something that other researchers haven't really done before. Nobody's tried to sort of look at these different strata with the, the camera traps and also different types of forest as well and understanding how regenerating forests might be different to primary forest in terms of the canopy. It's a really understudied region and the, the reason why is because it's so difficult to work there. It's hard work to get these cameras into the trees um, but it's, it's super important for us. It's one of our top projects. So I've just made it up to uh, back 24 metres to the camera, probably about 26 to the top and uh, we've had this trap out for just over 10 weeks so we're going to take it down. Pop me off with the camera, have a quick check just to see if we've got anything. Make sure oh, there's a few ants in here, they've been uh, enjoying themselves. Come on boys, get out. And the camera is actually 262 videos. So it's, uh, the whole card's gone. Batteries are good. So it's uh, certainly a good potential. Always worrying that it's just gonna be some branches waving around in the, uh, in the back there, but potentially some stuff on our high trap. So excited to get down. It's a bit easier than going up, eh? Are we all revved up, Tom? Yeah. Excellent. Nothing on that one. It must be like when the leaves heat mm. up during the day. They just trip off. Or insects are all flying past. But right now, this is like the 9th of the 5th. Oh, what is that? Money shot! Oh, spiders! Look at that, that's ridiculous. Oh, that's amazing. Look at the shape. Oh, right, right in the back. Oh, oh look at it oh, swing. swinging. Oh, that's awesome. That's amazing. Oh, nice one. That's what we're doing for. species. Well done, man. Get him. We're back at the MLC now, we've brought all the, the cameras in, we've got the footage and we've started looking through it and we've had some amazing things, stuff that we, we kind of expected and we thought we might get off the back of the pilot work last year, but some really new things as well. Um, some of the really nice stuff was the endangered primates that we got, the woolly monkeys and the spider monkeys, absolutely fantastic footage and some really uni unique behaviour off the woolly monkeys, it was superb stuff. This video is uh, Woolly Monkey in the high canopy and what he's doing is actually bouncing the tree, he's bouncing the branch that he's on and getting it ready and at the perfect moment makes a huge leap out of the tree and it's just incredible behaviour to see. 
Um, and we got some really unique sort of new things as well. So we got some great footage of Kinkajou. Like Kinkajou we hardly ever see like out in the forest. We maybe have a couple of records over the last two or three years. But we actually had them turn off on about five of the camera traps, so various different sites and some really nice video of them. We also got Night Monkey as well, which was incredible uh, for the first time, some nocturnal footage of primates up in the canopy uh, and at different levels as well, in the high canopy and mid canopy. Um, so it shows that those little night monkeys are going all the way up to sort of 30 metres up in the trees, which is really cool. We got birds this year as well, we didn't get any birds last year, but now we've, uh, we've had Spix's guans, again at 30 metres up in the canopy, which really I would assume they would have been around in the mid canopy. Um, we had oropendlers in there, nice big olive oropendlers, and also tiny little ant wrens as well, and even a hummingbird on one of the traps. So really sort of unusual things that we didn't expect at all. We also had a squirrel, that was really cool. Like, uh, again, the records of squirrels are almost, uh, especially the Bolivians, uh, almost non-existent. So it was really cool to get one of those guys running up a tree. Really nice stuff. So th this woolly monkey footage is amazing for a couple of reasons. One of them is that this is mid canopy and it shows woolly monkey which we associate with being a high canopy specialist. But also he's, he's making a call as well. We're getting some behavior in there and it's just stunning stuff. The next thing for the Arboreal Camera Trap project is the, obviously the first thing is the next 10 weeks and to get the cameras back in and see what amazing date we've got now and I'm sure we're going to get some new information already from that. But what we're really thinking is next year bigger uh, and, and more long term. So doing a project that we do every year to get a, a good data set over a period of time but also amplifying the project. So instead of just working at the MLC in Crees, um, expanding out into other research areas. So looking at the national park, the pristine forest and comparing it with areas in the, in the cultural zone um, and looking at these endangered primates like the woolly monkey and the spider monkey, maybe even other animals as well. We'd love to get big cats up in the trees for the first time. But looking at these animals on a whole landscape and seeing how they, how they move or how they use these different areas of forest and it's a crazy project. We're thinking, you know, between two or three hundred cameras out in the trees. Um, so there's a lot of work involved. It's, it's going to be pretty intense, but I think that we can do it. And I think it'd be just a stunning, amazing project.